time with Miss Alex and Miss Sarah. And we have a bunch of fun fall stories coming your way, in addition to some other fun topics we picked. And we are going to start like we usually do with our mm -hmm. Hi, Hello, and How Are You song. Oh, but, so. but today we have some special guests. We do? Oh, that's oh. right. I have a pumpkin. And I have an apple. So can you boys and girls guess what our stories are about today? You got it. Apples and pumpkins. Uh, I was going to say bananas and blueberries. No, Miss Sarah. Oh, and we don't just have our apples and pumpkins. We also have some other friends with us. We have Mouse and Worm. And they are going to help us sing our Hi, Hello, and How Are You song. So if you guys are ready. Get your hands ready and let's begin. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? And is everyone doing well? Yeah. We're so glad to be back and doing more stories mm -hmm. for you guys, and we hope we'll see you come visit the library soon. Mm -hmm. How about we get started, Miss Sarah, with a little song? Ooh, what should we sing about first, Miss Alex? I think we should sing about some pumpkins. <gasps> some pumpkins. Yes. We'll sing about you later, Apple. How does that sound? Yes. All right, we're going to put our friends away, and we're going to sing about our song. Mm. All right, friends, so we're going to sing our song, Pumpkin, Pumpkin. And you guys can follow along in our show notes. Mm -hmm. All right, ready? One, two, two three. Pumpkin, pumpkin on the ground. How'd you get so big and round? Once you were a seed so small. Now you are a great big ball. Pumpkin, pumpkin on the ground. How'd you get so big and round? <laughs> oh, how big and round are how your pumpkins, guys? How big is your pumpkin? Guys? Is it this big or is it this big? Oh, oh my gosh. Miss Alex, do you know how pumpkins get so big? I don't, but I would like to know how big mm. a pumpkin could grow. Do you friends know how big a pumpkin can be? Mm. You know what? I think there's a book for that. You know what? Let's see if we can find it. Come on, friends. Let's go read about pumpkins. Miss Alex? Did you find a book about how big pumpkins can get? I did. It's actually even called <gasps> How Big Could Your Pumpkin Grow? Oh, that sounds perfect. I think this book by Wendell Miner is going to be perfect to answer our questions about oh. how big pumpkins can get. Because there are some that are this size, but there are some that are super big. Super big. So oh, let's man. see. How big could your pumpkin grow? At the pumpkin farm. We picked the perfect pumpkin. Some are little, and some are big, and some are giant-sized. Look how big that one is. It's the face of the scarecrow. Oh, man. I guess it's a pumpkin crow. <laughs> <laughs> giant pumpkin festivals are tons of fun. What is the biggest pumpkin set? Oh, oh, sorry, I messed up. <laughs> Giant pumpkin festivals are tons of fun. <laughs> Will the biggest pumpkin set a world record? Wow. Uh -huh. Look at that. <gasps> it's almost as big as the crane. It's literally a ton of fun. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what can you do with an enormous pumpkin? Can you carve oh. it and into a boat and race in the regatta? Row, row, row your pumpkin. <gasps> Wait a minute, you're supposed to row your boat, not your pumpkin, Miss Sarah. Wait a minute. Oh, I didn't even know pumpkins could float. I didn't know either. The legendary oh. Paul Bunyan and his blue ox babe were giants, too. They liked to think big. If they gave you giant pumpkin seeds, how big could oh. your pumpkin grow? Wow. Mm, I wonder if it could grow as big as that ox. Ooh. Would it rise as high as hot air balloons at the Fall Fiesta Fair? Ooh, I don't know. Can mm. pumpkins float? We learned they can float, but can they fly? Hmm. hmm. Or beam as bright as the lighthouse at the beach? Ooh. You're going to need a really big candle for that jack-o'-lantern. Mm -hmm. Your gigantic pumpkin could grow like the skyscrapers. But watch out. Horns will honk on the bridge when it blocks traffic. Beep, beep. Uh -huh. Get out of my way, pumpkin. <laughs> they do things big in Texas. Would your giant...
giant pumpkin be boss in a jumbo cowboy hat? Oh, oh my god. god. I didn't even know it made cats that big. Or a hungry monster gobbling riders on the tallest, fastest roller coaster? Miss Harris, uh, that roller coaster looks familiar. Hmm. <gasps> I think that roller coaster's in New Jersey. <gasps> Is it? Oh, let's uh, keep reading and see. Imagine if your pumpkin was so immense for hide and seek, you couldn't even hide. <gasps> oh, oh, it's hiding behind the Capitol Dome. Are you sure? I don't see it. I think I see an eye right there, Miss Is Sarah. It? Is it? Oh, it's there. Oh, of course. Perhaps your mighty pumpkin could grow up to be president. <gasps> Hail to the chief. Pumpkin for president. Hmm. Would your stupendous pumpkin make a super splash atop a towering waterfall? Ooh, oh, look at that. It looks like he's the mouth of a waterfall. Cannonball. Woo. Three, two, one, blast off. Would your astronomical pumpkin smile to see a rocket zoom into space? <gasps> into space? Look, it looks like it's coming right from his mouth again. Oh, wow. That's a cool pumpkin. Whoa, look at that guy. Woo. Could the most colossal pumpkin fill the Grand Canyon? <gasps> Who knows? Isn't it fun to imagine giant pumpkins everywhere you go? Ooh. And giant pumpkins could be anywhere. A lot of the places we read just in this story are real places. Mm -hmm. Maybe you visited with your family the Grand Canyon and that cool roller coaster we saw. Miss Sarah, where does it say it's from? Where does it say it's from? Oh, right it's here! From? Where is it from? It's New Jersey's King New, Ka. New Jersey, that's us! That's us, it's right in our very own backyard. So that's pretty cool to see. A pumpkin would be as tall as King Ka if you had it be 456 feet. It's a pretty big pumpkin if they had one that size. That's a very tall pumpkin. And a very tall roller coaster. That is very true. Very cool. Well, Miss Sarah, I think we should sing another song about a pumpkin. Oh, you know I always love a good song about a pumpkin. Which song should we sing today, Miss Alex? Hmm, I like the song, I'm a Little Pumpkin. <gasps> but I think we need you guys at home to help us out. Do you guys think you could sing it along with us? Yes? All right, great. So we're going to sing the song, I'm a Little Pumpkin, okay? So put your arms like this, and we're going to say, I'm a little pumpkin, orange and round. Here is my stem, there is the ground. When I get all chopped up, don't you shout. Just open my top and scoop me out. Ooh, scoop, scoop out all those pumpkin seeds. Ooh. If you want, you can even use your fingers, and they're very squishy. Ooh. 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 <laughs> you know what's my favorite? When you roast the pumpkin seeds mm -hmm. eat some. Ooh. Mm. But you know, Miss Sarah, I think we've learned a, quite a bit about pumpkins so far. I want to learn so. about our friend Apple. I think Worm wants us mm -hmm. to learn about apples now. I think so, too. Apple's getting a little lonely, right? Yeah. Right, Mr. Worm? But well, wait a minute, guys. Oh, yes, what is it, Mr. Mouse? You have one more story about me. We do. We do. Oh, you're, you're right. You're right. We have a story oh. about a pumpkin that's a little bumpy and bumpy. Should we get it now? I think we should. You ready, Mr. Mouse? Let's hear the story, boys and girls. So now that we learned how big pumpkins can be, now we're going to learn, do you, Miss Alex, do you know where we pick pumpkins? Um, I picked my pumpkins from my nose. <gasps> you picked it from your nose. No. You picked them from a pumpkin oh, patch. I was very concerned for a second. <laughs> to say, did you leave a seed in there? Oh, I hope not. Uh, Otherwise, I'm going to have a pumpkin growing out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Miss Alex. So, while we usually <laughs> pick, so while we pick it out from a pumpkin patch, just like. Pumply Dumply Pumpkin. It's about a tiger named Peter as he's searching for the perfect pumpkin. I hope he finds it. I hope he finds it too. Let's see. see. Pumply Dumply Pumpkin. Peter's looking for a pumpkin. A perfect Pumply Dumply Pumpkin. Ooh. 
Not a lumpy, bumpy pumpkin. Not a stumpy, grumpy pumpkin. But a sunny, sumptuous pumpkin. Oh, yeah, it sounds good. Finally, on a twining vine, he spots a pumpkin fat and fine. Is that me? That is you. Your pumpkin is rather fat and fine, Mrs. Mouse. Not too fat, though not at all. Not too short and not too tall. Not some Squat, lopsided pumpkin, but a glossy lot of pumpkin. Oh, look how nice that pumpkin that is. That is a shiny looking mm. fat pumpkin. And look how big it is. It's yeah. almost as big as him. Look at that one's growing out of his head, too. Yeah. <laughs> Why does Peter want a pumpkin? Do you know, Miss Alex? Uh, I bet he wants it so he can play baseball with it. Oh, play baseball. That's a good guess. Uh, let's, let's keep it in the back of our mind. Maybe not, actually. Want to try it? Well, that's okay. Well, let's see. Why would he want a showy, glowy pumpkin? Hmm. Maybe not a baseball. Not a baseball bat. It would be too heavy. Yeah. And that's such a such a nice pumpkin. Yeah. Let's see. Pumpkin pickles? Ew, no way. Yeah, pumpkin pie? That's a little better, but... That sounds delicious, but mm, not quite right. Pumpkin pudding. Mmm. Mm. That's pretty yummy, but I don't think that's what he's looking for. Pumpkin fries. You can uh, try pumpkin pudding. Huh. That'd be interesting. What about pumpkin salad? Mmm. Mm. Doesn't sound right. Pumpkin stew? That sounds a little better. Mmm. What is Peter going to do? A lot of options. Got a lot of options. With his pumpkin home at last, Peter starts in working fast. What's he working to do? Do you, know? do you hear all that? This is all. What is he doing? Yeah. Oh, what a racket. Draw some eyes. Draw on a chin. And then he draws on a pumply dumply grin. <gasps> What's that he's making? Can you guys see? Hmm. What do you think, Miss Alex? I think he's making a face. <gasps> I think you're but right. Why would you put a face on a pumpkin? Ooh. <sighs> Helps his dad carve into place a simply dimply pumply face. <gasps> oh, are you thinking what I'm thinking? I'm thinking exactly what you're thinking. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three. Potato, Potato salad. Oh. Oh. I was thinking. Oh, about potato I was salad. thinking jack o' lantern. Okay, I well, think we'll, you're we'll, right. I think we'll, you're right. We'll see. But you know what? Maybe he has potato salad. Maybe. That's not sound good. What a pumpkin salad? They did Ooh, say pumpkin. They did salad. say pumpkin salad. Lights a light behind the grin, and it starts from glowing within. You know, Miss Sarah, I think you're right. That looks like a jack o' lantern. I think it does. Look how beautiful that is. Later wins the most applause, and really no surprise because because. Perfect pumpkins really do make perfect jack-o'-lanterns, too. Oh, you were right, Miss Sarah. He was making a jack-o'-lantern. Oh, look how beautiful that jack-o'-lantern is. It's much prettier than any potato salad, I mm. can imagine. Oh, definitely, definitely. The end. Yay. I like that story a lot. Me too. But you know what? I got kind of hungry. I know, especially since I mentioned potato salad. I, I know. We don't have any potato salad. We, we don't, don't have any pumpkins or apples but or even corn is a great fall Ooh. food I could go for, but we don't have anything. But you know what? What if we take a trip down to the farm? I hear they've Ooh. got apples, pumpkins, and corn. But do they have potato salad? Ooh. Probably not, but we can always That's ask. That's okay. I think I'd be okay with apples, pumpkins, and corn. Oh, let's go. Oh, look, we got our basket right here. There we go. Can you, can you, friends, help us pick out some apples, pumpkins, and corn? I think I see them right around oh, here. Oh man! Look at all this oh. stuff, but. And Miss Sarah, I don't know which is which. Oh. Does anyone know what color apples are? Oh, wait. I think I got this. Okay, so if 
Orange is pumpkins. Orange is pumpkins. Apples are yellow. No, Miss Ari, yellow. Well, some apples can be yellow, but most apples are red. Oh, they're yellow red. Yellow is for the corn. Oh. So we're going to pick some apples, some oranges, and some corn. Mm -hmm. And if you friends have scarves at home, you can do this with us too. Or if you have apples, pumpkins, and corn, you can pick them at home right from your own table or backyard. Or or get a quick snack. Yes, that works too. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. Picking up apples, put them in the basket. Picking up apples, put them in the basket. Picking up apples, put them in the basket. Way down by the apple tree. Picking up pumpkins, put them in the basket. Picking up pumpkins, put them in the basket. Picking up pumpkins, put them in the basket. Way down by the pumpkin patch. Picking up corn and put it in the basket. Picking up corn and put it in the basket. Picking up corn and put it in the basket. Way down by the corn stalk. Yay! Oh, look how much we've collected, everybody! We our whole basket with fall goodies. <laughs> oh, you know, I think it's time that we read a story about an apple. Ooh. What do you think, guys? I think it's time we learn a little bit about some apples. Let's get our next story. All right, friends, so we have our story now about some apples, but this one is actually called Hungry Bunny. Ooh. I bet Hungry Bunny is looking for some apples. Mm. And this one is by Claudia Ruda. So let's hear about Hungry Bunny. Here I come. Grr, grr. Ooh. Who's coming? Ooh. Uh-oh, can you hear my tummy rumble? Mm. I'm one hungry bunny. Mm. <gasps> Ooh, my tummy rumbles like that sometimes, too. It's time for a red, delicious, and hard-to-reach apple. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. It's too high for him. He can't get it. Mm -hmm. Maybe you could help. <gasps> what do you boys and girls think? Could you help? Could you please shake the book so the apple falls down? Can you guys pretend to shake the book? Shake it up. Let's see, did it come down? <gasps> Not the leaves. Could you blow them away? Can you go... <sighs> blow them away. That's much better. Thank you. Oh, good job. The leaves are gone. But the apples are still stuck up there. Hmm. And uh-oh, oh no! My scarf has blown away too! And it's stuck in the book. Uh oh oh no. no. And I'm still hungry. Uh-oh, I see bunny scarf oh, there. Oh, oh, look at that. Maybe we have to try to pull it out. Can you help grab my scarf? Okay. Miss Sarah, can you grab it right. for him? Okay, right Give it a pull. One, two, three. and pick those tasty apples. Ooh. All right, Miss Sarah, don't let go. Okay, don't let go. Don't let go, Evelyn. Okay. Uh -oh. Just one more. Oh, no. Oh. Miss Sarah. <gasps> what you happened? let go of the scarf. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I think there's stuff, too. Oh, sorry, Miss Sarah. We got that. I got it. Let's go. Great teamwork. Ooh. I got them all. Can you hang on to that scarf for me? I got to hear it. Wait, wait, what? Find it again. Oh, there yes. it is. Okay. All right, hold on to that scarf. Don't you let go. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Whoops, I'm running late. What an uphill battle. He's got to run up with his all his apples in the cart. <gasps> wait a minute. Why am I going uphill? Uh-oh. Bunny's confused. Mm. We can fix that. Can you? Tilt the book for me. Can we Ready? tilt it this way so we can go downhill? Tilt. All right. Let's see if he's going to go downhill. Well, he's going downhill this way. Woo! Woo! Easy as pie. Mm, mm, now pie. my wheels are turning. Mmm, pie. Why don't we have even more fun? Would you rock this book back and forth? Can you boys rock, boys and girls rock back and forth? Uh-oh, can 
get ready to tumble. There goes his apples because he hit a bump. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oops. I guess I upset the apple cart. Where are all the apples? Do you see them? I don't see them. Do you boys and girls have them at home? Hmm. Here they are. I'll just pick them up. Right, can you bend down and pick up the apples? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. See if he needs our help. On the road again. Uh oh. But what's this? Can anyone see? Uh oh. What's the matter? Hmm. Miss Dara, what happened to our bunny? Let's see. His wagon's broken, but that's not broken. <gasps> Is it the gap? It's the gap. Oh. How is the bunny supposed to get across? Oh, I don't know. Hey, I think I'm going to need some help. Okay. Can you use my scarf to make a bridge? Oh, that's us. That's us. We were holding okay. that scarf for a reason. Okay. Everyone right. get your scarf ready. Get we're going to put one finger and one finger. There we go. I'll hold this into the bridge. Oh, oh, no, oh no, there, we go. there we go. All right, there we go. All right. Walk. He's going to tightrope across. across. Let's Keep see. Keep your balance. Perfect. Oh, thank you. Whew. Good job, guys. And at the end of my rope, good thing I'm almost home. Uh oh, I'm stuck. Could you give me a little push, please? Ready? Can you guys pretend to push him through the hole? One, two, three, push! Let's see, did we get him inside? And. Oh, my pages are so stuck today. There we go. Pop! Oh, goodness. Right on time for Mom's apple pie. Ooh. Yum. Not a bad apple in the bunch. Mm. Yum! Mmm. And we saved a piece for you. So mm. nice. Yum, mm. yum, yum. Smells so good. It does. I love me some apple pie. Me too. The end. Mm -hmm. Great job picking those apples, friends. We couldn't have done it without you. We couldn't. And because you guys were such good helpers, I think we should sing a song about five little apples. Do you guys think you could help us sing it? Yeah? Alright, perfect. Follow along in our show notes. And we're going to sing about five little apples. Okay, here we go. Five little apples lying on the floor. One rolled away. And then there were four. That's right, guys. Four? Four, Miss Dad. Oh, four. 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 Okay, now let's see. Four little apples hanging on the tree. One rolled away, and then there were three. Three. Now you got it, Miss Sarah. Oh, three. See, I got it. Three little apples. I know what to do. Mm -hmm. I pick one off the tree Ooh. and give it to you. Ooh. Now we have two. Oh, so right. good. Two little apples sitting in the sun. One rolled away. Whoop. And then there was one! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, just one apple. Just one apple left. What's going to happen to it? Well, we can't leave it off. Can't leave it in the tree. We, we can't, can't leave it, it by himself. Mm -hmm. One little apple waiting in my lunch. <gasps> I pick it and I eat it with the crunch, crunch, crunch. Mmm. Oh. I love a crunchy apple. Good job picking those apples, boys and girls. You guys did a great job. Now that we got our apples... Yes, we're going to sing another mm -hmm. apple song called Look at This Apple. Mm -hmm. So we're going to sing. Look at this apple I have found, red and rosy on the ground. Mother will wash it and cut it to half for me and half for you. Mm, eat your half mm -hmm. the apple. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. So juicy and delicious. So good. All right, friends, and we have another story about apples, and Miss Sarah's going to read this one, mm -hmm. and it is called Apples and, and Robins. So, do you guys know who lives in apple trees? That's right, Robins. Today, we're going to read a book called Apples and Robins. All you need for apples are circles, and the color red. Are you ready? I'm going to make an apple appear. <gasps> hey. Wow! Summer is ending. The apples hang high in my tree, just out of reach. 
All you need for a ladder are six rectangles. Five short. One, two, three, four, five. And one long. Let's see if we can make a ladder up here. I don't think you can, Miss Sarah. Let's see. And <gasps> look at that. Wow. A ladder appeared. And you can climb into the leafy branches to pick an apple. You ready? And all you need to take out of a, take a bite are two circles. So we've got one circle. We've got two circles. An apple is a circle. And an open mouth is a circle. Can you guys open your mouth? Let's see how wide. Ooh. Those are wide. That's wide apple biting teeth. Good job. You ready? <gasps> you took a bite of our apple. Sorry, Miss Sarah. I was hungry. That's okay. That was good. I'm more impressed. You went through the camera. <laughs> but someone else thinks so, too. <gasps> and a little bite of an apple is so sweet. But look. <gasps> a worm. Ooh. Mr. Worm, how'd you get in there? All you need for a bird are three triangles, like the robin's whistle. We got one, two, three, and a red oval, like its round red breast. Okay, ready? This circle. I don't know. Let's see. And look, it's a robin. Wow! It will fly away with the worm and sit in my apple tree singing. All you need for a birdhouse are walls and a roof. Hmm. Is that the roof? No, Miss Sarah. Mm. I think the triangle is oh, the roof. the triangle and a little door. Oh, that's the door. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's put these all these things together. <gasps> Look at that. Look it's a robin that. house. And a string to hang it with. Now there's a place for Robin's nest. Oh, look. Look at all the nice Robins and apples. But all you need for a storm is for the wind to blow. Uh-oh. And the sky to rumble. Uh-oh. Crack. Uh-oh. It's a little scary. It is a little scary, but it's okay. I promise, because next... Uh-oh. Look what happened. Oh, no. The birdhouse. The birdhouse and all the apple trees. What a mess. But we'll rake the leaves and gather all the apples. All you need for a basket... Let's see, we've got a half a circle, a rectangle, and a circle. <gasps> Look at that! Is an empty place to put things. Oh, good, we can use this basket. All you need for a birdhouse <gasps> is a hammer and some nails. Oh, good, we got some. Let's put together the birdhouse. I'll climb the ladder and hang the birdhouse and take the apples to eat. Mm. All winter long there will be apples. Look, there's a robin. There will be robins. Look at the little birdhouse. And one morning when you're making your breakfast, Two, three yellow circles. <gasps> Look at that. An egg will crack in the robin's nest. There will be baby robins. <gasps> Look how cute. <laughs> and apple flowers. It will be spring. Great job putting all those shapes together, friends. 
Now, let's go sing some more ask songs about apples. All right, guys, so we have one more song for you, and this is called Ten Red Apples. Mm. And we're going to sing it now on the count of three. One, one two, three. three. Ten red apples growing on the tree. Five for you and five for me. Help, Help me shake the tree just so. And all the apples fall down below. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten apples. Good job, friends. We have enough apples to last us oh, we the have, rest of the fall. We have enough apples, pumpkins, to until make pies until next fall. Yes, guys. So, I hope you enjoyed our fall mm -hmm. apple pumpkin story time. We and certainly enjoyed <laughs> being with you guys. And we are going to sing our final song, which is The More We Get Together. And Miss Sarah, do you want to take it away? I will take it away. So make sure you bring it back for next week, too. Oh, yeah. And don't forget to check out our next week's Facebook Live on Thursday. Thursday where, where we have another short little story time. We hope to see you friends soon. All right, on the count of three, Miss Alex, you ready? One, two, three. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. Good job! See you later, friends! We'll see you next week, friends. And remember, like Miss Sarah said, check into our Facebook Live preview to sneak peek of what our next week's theme is going to be. Bye, friends! Bye.